The first function we will look at in this session is y or f of x equal to the absolute value of x. How do we plot this on the graph? When x is 0, y as well is 0. 0, 0 will be one of the points. If x is 1, then y as well will be 1. This point is 1, 1. 2, 2 will be another point. And what will y equal when x is minus 1? The absolute value of minus 1 is 1. The absolute value just ignores the sign of the number. Minus 1, 1 will be another point. And similarly, minus 2, 2 will also be another point. The graph will look a bit like this. This is the graph of the absolute value of x. This graph also tells us that no matter what the value of x is, the absolute value will always be non-negative. It lies entirely in the non-negative region of y. Let's try modifying this function a bit. What if the function is f of x is equal to absolute value of x plus 1? Will you be able to draw a graph? Try it. If x is 0, then y will be 0 plus 1, which is 1. 0, 1 will be one of the points. If x is 1, then y will be equal to 2, 1, 2. And if x is 2, then y is 3 and so on. If x is minus 1, then y will be absolute value of minus 1 plus 1, that'll be 2. Minus 1, 2 is the point we are talking about. And in the same way, minus 2, 3 will be another point. This is how the graph will look like. Notice what happened. We added a constant to the function and the graph moved up. We added 1 and the graph moved up 1 unit. Will the graph move down if we subtract a constant from the function? Look at the next function and try plotting its graph. Here, we have subtracted a 1 from the original function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. If x is 0, y will be minus 1. We mark the point 0, minus 1. If x is 1, then y will be 0. 1, 0 is another point. 2, 1 and so on. Now if x is minus 1, then y will be 1 minus 1, which equals 0. Minus 1, 0 will be that point. And similarly, minus 2, 1 will be another. Joining the points, the graph will look like this. Compared to the original, we can see that it has moved down a bit. So what are the conclusions we can draw? If y is equal to f of x is the original function, and we add a constant to it, the graph will move or shift up. And if we subtract a constant from it, then the graph will shift down. This concept is very important. What if we add a constant to the input? Something like y is equal to f of x plus 1? What will happen to the graph? Let's see that on a new page. We know the graph of our original function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. What if the function is something like y is equal to absolute value of x plus 1? Here, we added 1 just to the input x. If x is 0, then y will be 1. If x is 1, then y will be 2. If x is minus 1, then y will be 0. If x is minus 2, then y will be absolute value of minus 1, which is 1. So minus 2, 1 is another point. And minus 3, 2 will be another. Joining the points, the graph would look like this. Comparing it to the original graph, this one has shifted to the left by 1 unit. Adding a constant to the input shifts the graph towards the left. And what if we subtract a constant from the input? Try drawing the graph for this function.
when the value of x is 0, then y will be the absolute value of minus 1, which is 1. When x is 1, y will be 0. When x is 2, then y will be 1. 3, 2 and minus 1, 2 would be a couple of more points. And drawing the graph, we can see that it has shifted towards the right. Conclusion If we add a positive constant to the input, the graph will move towards the left. And if we subtract a positive constant from the input, the graph will move towards the right. All the four concepts you learned in this session are important. These two as well as the previous two. If you haven't understood this video well, I suggest you watch it again.